help each other out. And when I take a vaccine, I'm not just doing it for myself. I'm doing it for my parents who are high risk, my community, my neighbor who is high risk. All of these things are part of the calculus of risk. And we've lost that. We've lost this idea of, uh, we've conflated it with things like autonomy and independence and freedom and forgotten the fact that when this pandemic continues to rage, um, we are not safe until everybody is safe. I mean, as of today, I think 11% of the African continent is vaccinated. That creates a vulnerability for me in San Francisco. As much as people don't want to believe that, we are in this together because a pandemic is, in the word, global. And we're, we all have to be thinking about how, how we can make our decisions to help get across that finish line, to help reduce the risk globally, to help you know, slow the spread of variant evolution um, by getting vaccinated. And I don't think that that's a message that is well received by a lot of people who kind of get very mixed up with a individualistic view of society. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I guess I really struggle because the medical community, you're talking to us about provable data. Nothing alters your DNA. Nothing nope. alters genes. Vaccines are out of your system within two weeks. Even people who have, you know, uh, mild side effects get over them very quickly. I, I called you when I had my booster. Yeah. 